everyone knows North Pakistan as the coldest area during this season. That's why I put on all of this warm stuff and I'm really in hurry to see that beautiful heaven in the earth. Let's go guys together. Refreshing. Good morning everyone from Hunza. Right now I'm at the Duikar viewpoint, which is 3000 meters above sea level, guys. From here opens the most amazing view to all the peaks around. For instance, like Dirham Peak, Golden Peak, Rakapushi Peak, Ultar Peak, Hunza Peak and Ladyfinger. And also the view to Hunza Valley, Hunza River, Karimabad and also Altit Fort. I guess right now the doors to paradise has opened and now I feel like everything, uh, the most adventurous part of our journey will start. And I'm very much excited guys, that's why I call all of you to watch the video to the end. Right now we are at the local market of Central Hunza and I'm planning to buy some local souvenirs for my family in Pakistan, in Islamabad and also for myself. Assalamu alaikum. First class, up here, let's say. Calculate the Oh, you speak Russian? Wow, what do you know in Russian? Uh, sorry? What do you know in Russian? Kadila, Karasho, Shukriya. Okay, okay, thank you. What's your name? Amir Khan. Amir Khan. Yes. Oh, my name is Shahid Noor. Shahid Noor. Yeah. <laughs> I want to buy Toby. Do you have for me, for yes. girls? Yes, yes. Hunza girls also wear yes, Toby? Yes, 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 yes. This oh, one. Oh, wow. Can you try this one? <laughs> yeah, looks beautiful. Mm, nice. This one, handmade, you know. And oh, men and yes. the women also yes, wear? Yes, yes, This is a unisex. Okay. Yes. How is it? Yes, this is okay. Wait, wait. Uh -huh. First of all, this is actually, this is, this one is the back side. Oh. This is the front side, you know. Okay, so like nice. This, and then you can, like, this is a little bit small. Ah, you have bigger? I have bigger ones. Wow, okay, nice. So this one is red. This one looks like your topi. Yeah, yes, yeah yes, he yes. has a white yes. color. Yes, please. Wow, mm. this is okay. Wow, <laughs> interesting. Okay, this is bigger, yeah? Bigger, yes, this is bigger. I think green one is okay, yeah. But it's a bit, little bit this small. This one is also bigger. This is also bigger. Oh, this is let's see. Oh, yeah. Who? This is a Hunza cap, you know? Oh, it's written Hunza, Hunza cap. cap. Yes. Wow. Handmade, yeah? Yes, handmade. Okay. Let me see this Hunza cap. Yes. And what about this color? This one also be the same, same, Hunza cap. Hmm. You know, here is a Hunza cap. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's see. Wow. This looks like Kazakh cap, yeah? Kazakh takhya. Красиво. Красиво? О, thank you. Хопсурет. Бохот хопсурет, да? Окей. How much is the last price for this for two? You, for you, this price is. Actually, you know, we're making like this one, only just machine made, uh, you know, some we call putty, you know. Mm. That is very cheap. Mm. You will find very cheap. Okay. But this is hand embroidery, you know. This mm -hmm. is expensive. Oh. So we are so. helping to the local women, so they are... Pre Keeping here, they are selling, you know, only thousand rupees. Mm. They told us, so we are selling on their their price. So the last price for this two? This, this is three hundred and one thousand. One thousand. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. The next shop that I'm going to visit is organic local products. Let's see what I can buy here. Assalamu alaikum. Kaisi hai? Good. Aapka naam kya hai? Asif. Oh, mera naam Shahid Noor. So now I'm looking for gem, apricot gem. Yes. Apricot is very famous on, in Hunza and uh, you have 25 types of apricot, right, in Hunza? Yeah. Yeah. That's really much types. Okay, what, which one you would suggest of apricot? Uh, these are the best ones. Uh, like gem, apricot gem. Gem, mm -hmm. okay. Here. This is the only type. Here. Here. 
And it produces in Hunza as well, yeah? yeah. So, kidna rupees? Uh, price is mentioned here, 380 rupees. Ah, 380. Wow, really affordable price. And uh, these are uh, this plum? This one is uh, cherry jam. Ah, it's cherry jam. Like this one is mulberry, this one is fig jam. There is also apple. Mmm. Yeah. Okay. So, maybe we will buy two jam? One this apricot and another which gem is uh, like your cherry favorite? Is also. Cherry is best. Yeah, I think cherry, cherry for cherry. Cherry for cherry. Okay, mm -hmm. for Hasib's cherry. <laughs> okay, we buy this and this. Sure. And uh, dry fruit. okay, let's see what type of or maybe nuts. Yeah. Dry nuts. Oh, uh, not like dry nuts. It's cashew, right? Uh, yeah, but not from. Hunza. Not, not from Pakistan. Ah, can you show something from exactly sure. Hunza maybe? Uh, these are fresh only in this season, so you can try this. Oh, yeah. last time I've tried um, like organic real well nuts from the tree here in Hunza. Mmm, yeah. Mazaidar. Yeah, these are best ones. Kidna peso? Uh, 800 pounds. 800, yeah. And these are the best apricots. Mmm, yeah. thank you. Yeah, maybe apricots. Mmm, this is very soft. Yeah. Nice. Also. This two? And the two jam. Okay, done. <laughs> so guys, now we are coming to Baltit Fort. It's an iconic place. It was built about 800 years ago. So we are almost reaching the Baltit Fort. And I guess before Pakistan get the independence, all the kingdoms, they were just like governments and they had their own culture, language, customs. I'm very excited to see what is inside. This is just like road to paradise, yeah? Ahead is just like white sky, stairway to heaven. Assalamu alaikum. Shukriya. Thank you. Alhamdulillah. Okay, my name is Shahed Noor. Shahed Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. May Kazakhstan say home. Kazakhstan? Yeah. Oh. After arriving in Pakistan, I frequently get positive feedbacks from locals on my Urdu language speaking skills. So right now I'm proud of myself that I didn't skip learning Urdu while I was in Kazakhstan. Because I believe that learning a new language allows me to become more adjusted to the culture and to interact with local people. To get ready for our journey to Pakistan, I've been using the online language learning platform italki, which is also the sponsor of today's video. Italki is unique in that you can take one-on-one -on -one individual classes according to your needs, interests and goals. And they have more than 150 languages for you to choose from. To find the right teacher, you can search by lesson category where the teacher is from or even use the search bar to narrow down your result. I took lesson with Muhammad Atif, who is a certified teacher here in Pakistan. I am also excited you are in Pakistan just for visiting. He not only taught me some everyday phrases that I wanted, but he also shared some insights about his culture and gave me tips for traveling around Pakistan. Suba Bakhair is the word which is actually belongs to Arabic language, but we also use in Urdu language. Aap kaise hain? Can you respond me? Meiti khun. Yeah, very good. Main aaj khush hu. Happy meaning khush. Main aaj khush hu. Did you uh, do tour in uh, northern areas of Pakistan, just like Naran, Kagan, Kashmir? The most handy thing about Italki is that you can have classes anywhere, anytime and pay per lesson. There is no subscription, no commitment and lessons are priced only $5. So start your language learning journey now by clicking the link in the description box and don't forget to use my promo code ITALKIBALNUR which gives you an extra $5 on the first lesson. This discount is available to the first 50 users. Now let's get back to the video. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, mustache is very unique. Yeah. Oh, wow. Nice. 
nice. It's like Marco Polo's, like oh, Mongolians. Yeah. Huh? Maybe people from Kingdom of Hunza they had this type of beard. Yes. Yeah. It's like his photo is everywhere around the world. Right. Everywhere. Legendary yeah, man. Legendary. China selector, America. Can I take the picture with you? Welcome. Ready? Okay, you, Welcome to Baltic Port, Shukriya. Thank you, Mrs. Lodi. In December and January, the temperature goes to minus 15 to minus 20. So that's why these doors and these two fascias, especially, they can control the winds also. Okay. And secondly, you can say you can come in a house as a respect also. Mm -hmm. So I think that that. Uh, Tajikistan, Afghanistan, Uzbekistan, many common. in Gilgit, Baltistan, especially we have a common culture. Mm -hmm. true. That's true, yeah. When we were in Uzbekistan, also we have to bow our hands yes, and bow. go inside. Yes, respect. Respect. Okay. Bismillah. In 1945, the last king. Mir Muhammad Jamal Khan. He has left this fort. So 1945 to 1919, fort has been empty. Eight thousand seven hundred feet. This was a royal throne. Mm -hmm. The king of Hunza. He is sitting on the throne. You can see in the front. These are the polo sticks. The polo was the match. I came from the Iran. Okay. He's the first king, Mir Ghazan Khan I, not original shape. He sketch. They can watch the polo for here dancer. Amazing. Wow. I feel like I'm queen right now <laughs> from of Hunza Kingdom. Thank you so much, Sultan. It was nice to meet you. Thank you, madam. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Assalamu alaikum. May Kazakhstan say home. Kazakhstan say home. Kazakhstan. Yeah. I like the style how they are embroidering. Is it like traditional embroidery? She learned it from her grandmother. Ah. I've heard that Hunza women they try to keep their traditions. They like they are more to traditions. Yes. Guys, one more interesting thing that people of Hunza they are taking care of environment. So that's why there are many signs avoid littering. <gasps> wow, this looks like our traditional costume. Choga. In my language is Shapan. This is Lady Toby? Yeah, yeah, can I try? In my language we call this takia. Takia. Yeah. Make Takia, takia. What about this? That one is artificial, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm Khunza girl. <laughs> <laughs> we, okay, we, guys, do you like we are my pleased to. Outfit? How is it? It's nice. Yeah? yeah. If you're from Khunza, write down in the comments. I might look like Khunza girl. Guys, look at this amazing view. I see the colors of autumn and the breeze of autumn with beautiful hills of mountain it's an incredible view and in my point of view the best combination with this beautiful nature is mountain tea and let me try this walnut cake so this is the iconic cake of this area mm -hmm. let's take some walnuts really soft, fresh and hot, amazing cake. Why I choose the walnut cake? Because here in central Hunza, there are many walnut trees. And exactly right now in October, you can try it just in raw way or in this type of cake. It has become colder. I guess in Hunza, you will never guess what type of weather is going to be. Just five minutes ago, it was very hot. Now it's cold. So that's why I'm thinking about to try some hot meal. Guys, for the hot meal, we have local mom too. And we have uh, local daudu soup and also two mountain tea. So let's get started. Yeah. Let's smell. Ah, tasty masaidar smell. Okay, let's try. Okay. Let's try without ketchup, like in local taste way. Okay. Ooh. Mm. Juicy. Yeah? Mm hmm. It tastes like 
Monty in Kazakhstan. Mm. But only shape is different. Here shape more like vareniki, Russian dumplings. But um, in Kazakhstan, shape of Monty quite different. Mazaydar. Mm -hmm. Mazaydar. Okay, let's go for soup. Wow, it has some chicken meat inside. It, lo it looks like lentil soup, like yellow. Mm. But I don't know how they made the yellow color. And also noodles inside. And I've heard here in Hunza, women, they do these noodles at home themselves. They don't buy from any market. And that's why it feels like it's really homey kitchen food. Yeah, in other area cities we cannot find soup, yeah? Mm, only yes. here in Hunza. I really miss eating soup. So what about mountain tea? Yeah. <sighs> Refreshing. Mountain tea is like more green tea, but they add uh, some herbs which they get from the top level of mountain. Uh, usually every morning local people go to mountain to collect all the healthy herbs and inside is also local her herb that makes the taste very unique. And I think also a little bit salty, no? Do you think? No, 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 it's not salty. I... Or this is salt. Yeah, this is salt. Ah, it's, it's not, not sugar. sugar. Yeah, because in this area like people love uh, salt. Yeah, it's salt. Salt I and thought black it's sugar. pepper. Yes. <laughs> I added. I thought yeah, it's yeah. sugar. Wow. Yeah. So it's salty. Okay. <laughs> yeah, mazaydar. Mazaydar. Choosing gratitude is high free. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> Is it your first time? First time to try jet ski. I still feel that I'm dr uh, like dreaming. Sleeping. Yes. I cannot imagine, I cannot realize that we are in Pakistan or we are seeing this beautiful view. It's very uh, unbelievable. And why subscribers tell us to come here? Now I, we don't want to leave yeah, this yeah. place. So because you said that to co we should come and now we don't want to leave. <laughs> How are you feeling? <laughs> this is my first time to try jet ski. Okay. So thanks to you guys, thanks oh. to your team. <laughs> It was really extremely nice experience. Uh, our friends they are saying that we drive very slow, but in real fact, when you are driving the jet ski in the middle of cold water and you feel scared, and the waves always moves from your point, I guess um, seven or kil seven kilometers or five kilometers per hour, 
is good enough. Thank you so much for this experience riding a jet ski. You're welcome. It's okay. a pleasure. Thank you. Yeah. What's your name? Nawaz. Nawaz, Nawaz Karim. Nawaz yeah. Karim. Oh, my name is Shayad Noor. Nice to okay. meet you. Uh, I have like great pleasure to know about the history about Atabat. Like, could you tell me? Uh, yeah, why not? Uh, it's basically, uh, basically found uh, due to lane sliding. Uh -huh. uh, it's happened uh, back 4 January 2010. Okay. Yeah, uh, the, the river flow down there and uh, lane sliding blocked the river and uh, uh, water accumulate and it formed lake. Mm -hmm. It takes uh, uh, six to seven months to uh, increase the level and become this lake. So how deep is this lake? It uh, it was, uh, uh, I guess, uh, the first measurement was uh, 500 feet, above mm. than 500 feet. But it, it decreased with the time and its length also decreasing with the time. Okay. Yeah, now it's maybe 150, 160 feet. Oh, yeah. and what about the length? Length is also decreased to 10 uh, kilometer, I guess. Mm. Yeah. Okay, is there any feeding areas of this lake? Uh, sorry? Feeding any feeding spring waters or yeah, it's, glaciers? It's glacier water. Uh, the the rivers start forming from the Hunjarab top, and they uh, it's become a, a river. Mm. Uh, the uh, water um, uh, came from glaciers, melt from glaciers, uh, came and enter in this lake. Oh, yeah. when it gets full, it goes by another river to that. Yeah, it's got overflow from overflow there. from yeah. here, and mm. it's become the uh, Hunza River, and it goes to Indus River. Oh, yeah. okay, that's nice. And could you tell me how far is it? It's safe, this area, like ecologically, uh, naturally, is it safe? It's a mountainous area, so it's uh, there are a lot of uh, difficulties, and uh, you can say it's not uh, safe. Ge uh, Geologically, yeah. but there are landsliding problems, there are earthquake problems. It happens uh, mm. sometimes. Yeah, oh, okay. it's not totally safe. Yeah. Mm, okay, but it's worth to try to try a jet ski and to see this beautiful Vacation view. Activities. And what type of activities you have here apart from jet ski? We have boating. We have traditional boats, motor boats, uh, and it's uh, we have motor boats made in Pakistan. We have imported boats, speed boats, everything. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, how many years you already do this type of entrepreneur? Uh, it uh, it's been uh, from 2017. Oh. I'm here working here. Yeah. Oh, very young. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I wish you prosperity and yeah. safe. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. It was nice to meet you. Thank you very much. Shukriya. Guys, I finally found this yurt, which is located in Gulmit, Upper Hunza. Long time I've been dreaming to see this place. Just look at this way. Yeah, wow, Jesus. this is like yeah. Uyghur yurt, Uyghur the nation, which is very close to my nation, Kazakh. And this yurt has many, many resembling things with our yurt. The first of all, it is made with uh, like wooden material, but I guess these things are bamboo material. It's more like modern, but still they keep tradition and culture in it. So, in the wall, there should be like no need to put this, but they try to keep yurt style so that's why they put this in real life when yurts are built they, there should be this one very long so they open in the circle and they build the yurts and what i like here that the bed is really huge and it's wooden everything is natural organic and it smells like in in the yurt exactly in kazakh that we call in my language when more important is the view from this glass window to that mountain. Um, and I've asked how many yurts in this area. There are about eight yurts and more other rooms also with good view and with the nature. I'm very satisfied. I'm so much happy to be here, guys. Yeah. Wow. Look at these guys. These are wild raspberry, yeah? Mm. Opa, yeah, many thorns. <gasps> Okay, thank you. Okay, I will get this and this. Oh, oh shukriya. Wow. I didn't expect to see this. Mm, it's sweet. Yes. Mm, really tasty. Even 
the autumn already came here and it's cold outside but the taste of mm, berries and everything the fruit and veggies all around makes you warm uh, reminding you about the summer season it makes you warm yeah now we're meeting group of people from indonesia which city are you from i am from jakarta we are from all jakarta oh different cities how do you like pakistan yeah, it's, it's a very nice country like <laughs> oh nice is it your first time in pakistan yes mm, that's amazing excuse me you drop your glove oh, oh, oh. it's okay i'll bring it down. So guys, now time to cross the Hosseini bridge, suspension bridge. Is it one? Yeah, one. Okay. <laughs> I'm very excited because I know this bridge as the most dangerous bridge in the world. So let's keep the way. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> Just look at these mountains, really sharp mountains. And I've heard that there are, there is really high wind, wind really windy. That's why these mountains are sharp. They look like Chinese mountain. Mm, and this. So now we are at the high level of Hunza. This place is called Upper Hunza. And I guess living in this area, in this village, is, uh, might be difficult for us if we come here to live. But for locals, maybe they already used to live. <gasps> wow, what a beautiful view. This is really incredible. Oh my god! <gasps> wow, look at the view! <gasps> Assalamu alaikum. Okay, life jacket can cross. Life jacket can save our life? Yes. Yeah? First yeah. safety. First is safety. Safety first, yeah. Bismillah. Okay. <gasps> okay, wait a second. Let, let, me, let me be there. Okay, okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. This man is just crossing very like freely. You cross very easy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go. Bismillah. Okay. Oh my god. Bismillah. Okay. <laughs> the right time to say Bismillah. Oh my yeah. god. I think it's still dangerous. Oh, 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 you you cross very fast. <laughs> okay, be careful. I'm not sure if this lifeguard can help me right now. So I'm looking my steps. Mama mia. I think it's still dangerous. Very dangerous. Mama mia. Asa Hello. Hello. Where are you from? Yeah, Vietnam. 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 Yeah. Uh, Xin Chao. Xin Chao. Oh, you know. Yeah, yeah. We're <laughs> in Hanoi and uh, Na Chang. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, so I guess it's better Saigon. to talk after. <laughs> I'm afraid. Is it your first time? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, first time in Pakistan. Okay. Dear. No, no, no. Ah, Vietnamese people, they are uh, very, how to say, brave hearted. The local people cross this bridge almost every day and just cross it running. And uh, the people said that this bridge also can be crossed by domestic animal. Oh, do you see the zip line? Yeah. Zip line, I guess, safer than this bridge. I'm not sure. <laughs> and I'm not sure that this safe. Uh, how good, 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 excellent. How are you? Oh, you? Oh, you feel good. very easy just uh, walking. <laughs> oh. Okay, huh? take care. <laughs> <laughs> so you see, guys, this bridge is still moving, like shaking, swinging. Kazakhstan <laughs> too? Yeah. <gasps> oh, are you from so Indonesia? Fun. Yes. No. Yes, oh. I'm from Indonesia. Very Hello, Zemuanya. Hello, Zemuanya. You know Bahasa? I know a little bit. A little bit. Mashallah. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Nasi goreng. Nasi goreng? Yeah. You ever go to Indonesia? 
Uh, we've been to Bali. Oh yes, Bali is beautiful island. Okay. Uh, and you? Which city are you from? Indonesia. Which city? Jakarta? No, no, no. No, no. Uh, Bali Papan, Borneo. Oh. Okay. The capital of Indonesia new. Oh. Yes. I want to Kazakhstan. Oh, yeah. Well, you are welcome Kazakhstan? to Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan, beautiful country. Beautiful country. Beautiful. Huh? Hello, Semuanya. Hello. <laughs> so, my friend in Kazakhstan. Welcome yeah. to Pakistan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. standing. Okay. Take a picture you. with you. Picture yeah. with our Indonesian friends. Yeah. 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 What's your name? Uh, Balnur. Balnur. I am Mama Ida. Okay. Oh, nice to meet you. Someone is taking picture of us? Huh? Yeah, oh, we should go. Okay. okay. Stay safe. Stay Stay safe. 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 Oof. My legs are shaking. I guess uh, it would be like if we didn't hold all of this camera stuff, yeah. but because uh, we are taking care of our expensive stuff, it makes it more scary. <laughs> Otherwise, um, it's okay. For the person, for me, who loves extreme, is the best thing. I mean, my hands like sweating. Because, I mean, like, I have uh, phobia. Yeah, he has phobia of height. <laughs> but finally we crossed. Guys, first time in my life I'm going to try zip line. I'm a bit nervous. But our friend, he said he's proud of me. I yeah. have to, and also, I have to be proud I want to meet myself. you if, in case you don't come back. <laughs> oh my God, no. And I also exactly in this place, yeah? Inshallah. Yeah. Nothing else. Don't touch the wire, don't touch the pulley, okay? And then lean back. Lean back. Okay. Like this. Ready? Bismillah. 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 Come, 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 come. Yalla, Habibi! Let's go to Dubai! Ready? Yes. What about say down? Bismillah, yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. What is this? Stand up, stand up, stand up. Stand up. Okay. Oh, I believe in you. Let you keep my life. Bismillah. Okay, hold it. Don't do the wire. It's safe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Don't worry, don't worry. The pulley. You lie down, lean back at the end. Step down. Bye bye. Bye bye. Shukriya. Oh, Bismillah. How is it? Extremely nice. I'm safe, I'm alive, it's the most important. And I've got nice impression and memory from uh, Upper Hunza, from Husaini Bridge and Zipline. Thank you so much, brother, welcome, from welcome. Tajikistan, our brother country as well. Yeah. Welcome, Enjoy your trip. Thank you so much. Nice, thank you guys. Nice to meet you. Thank you. <laughs> Wow, how was my uh, voice? Yeah. Did you hear how I was, how I was screaming? Yes. <laughs> but they say it's good, yeah? Good like... screaming, yeah? Okay, <laughs> like happy screaming. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> so guys, now we came to support our off resort team. Here, you know, Hunza Premier League. This is okay. the one of football tournament every year. Ah. This is the uh, 12th uh, uh, Hunza Premier League. Now they are going to celebrate here. Uh, we had uh, uh, 32 teams here. 
now uh, we have a, a quarter final match will be play here the quarter final match we have a two teams one is the off two team and the next team is the you know brown uh, united they are, they are from karimabad yeah they both are from karimabad okay uh, brown is the one of the tribe of mm -hmm. uh, this area there are four tribes one kurukus dramiting brown baratali the brown is the also one a tribe here they uh, they are now they will come to here to play with the the off two team in this game started to be very active players are playing like in an aggressive way but they want to win each team first goal was done by our off the resort and let's see what happened The celebration, you know, uh, both the teams dance. The team that loses uh, celebrates the good play, so there can be a bit, you know, more rowdy in the dancing. And the team that has won, uh, they have to be more gracious, and uh, in their celebration, they have to be more dignified. So that's the difference is you saw in the dancing. Okay, so here we are. This is a Pasu, Pasu village. So over there, these are the Pasu cones. Uh, some Europeans also call these a Pasu Cathedral wow. because they are look like right now there are uh, some clouds otherwise you will see they look like cathedrals and over there this is a Pasu Glacier mm -hmm. uh, which is 115 square kilometer and uh, it's one of there are a couple of glaciers so it's it's very nice like you can can we climb the, there also yeah there is a track oh. you can go 
to the uh, glacier as well. Uh, so this whole area, the Pasur, uh, Husseini and uh, these villages, so they are surrounded by different glaciers. So one is Batura Glacier, the other one this is Pasu Glacier, there is another one called White Glacier. So there are all these three glaciers, Himalayan glaciers. Uh, this area is home of uh, the Himalayan glaciers. Wow, and they are not melted? No, so far uh, they are a little bit melted but still very intact. Mm -hmm. I heard that in Pakistan like more than 1000 glaciers that are never melted. Yeah, because they are above four, five thousand meters, mm. so or they are still the temperatures are those where it's they are not melted. But again, there there are some glaciers which are uh, very fast melting, and mm -hmm. so that's and a point of concern to us as well. Okay. Uh, so for that, uh, the, now we are basically uh, there is uh, we are making some man-made glaciers. Uh, so how yeah could you explain how you made it I've heard uh, Farhan, Farhan told us about man-made glaciers so there are two type of uh, glaciers one is white glaciers and other is the black glaciers so they uh, basically take the snow from the glaciers to above 5000 and they uh, check the places where there is no sunlight so they put uh, uh, coal uh, mm. snow and some other things and it will take like a uh, few years when uh, then the glacier start growing and wow. so they also called a glacier marriage as well <laughs> glacier marriage ah, yeah, it's so like black glacier is black Ma glacier male is, and female yeah black is considered male and white, white glacier is considered female wow it's amazing i guess this idea would be important for other countries yeah, who so are that's suffering of water yes exactly mm. so in baltistan we are, if we are going towards uh, skardu whenever so over there, there are they just recently uh, start uh, making th three or four glaciers. Mm, that's amazing. Thank you so much for Thank this you. informative thing. And guys, in my point of view, these cathedrals, they look like sharp teeth. Like uh, maybe a mountain leopard. Yeah, really, really sharp. And I also want to try to climb, but it's already late right now. It's getting dark, but anyways, from here, it's really amazing, magnificent view. How small I am and how magnificent and giant all of this mountain around me. Ooh, I lost my ability to speak, guys. I feel a little bit stressed after zipline, <laughs> but it was nice experience. Guys, now we came to have dinner with this beautiful, amazing view inside of Yurt. I was asking why here Yurts are very famous because these places used to be very windy and the shape of circle um, can get rid of wind. So wind can come like from the both sides or from the circle side, so it never damage inside. If it will be like the square shape, it will be damaging. So I guess in Kazakhstan, uh, nomadic lifestyle, they also used to live in yurts. So I just right now realized why they lived in yurt because they tried to keep to keep warm because of wind. Kazakhstan is also a very windy landscape. Now, our friends, they're suggesting us to try yak meat because this restaurant is famous for yak. Almost everything is made of yak uh, and the owner is woman. I'm very, very excited. The taste of yak first time. Guys, look at this yak burger with potato wedges. Oh, it's really scrumptious. And the most important is it's, it looks really natural, like with this uh, wooden plate. And this is a uh, chili, yak chili. chili. Wow. First time in my life, Kazakh girl is trying yak meat. This is really juicy. Wow. And they made it so fast. Yuck meat. Zabar mm. dust. Mazai darhe. Wow, this is very tasty. 
So yeah, I've heard that the potato is the most tastiest part of this place. It was true. It was proved by me. <laughs> Next is coming chili yak meat. I hope it isn't very chili because local people don't like very chili food, right? Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's groom. It's hot. Ooh. Wow. By the way, yak meat is uh, darker compared to beef. And it feels like juicy or the way how they cook is professional. Amazing. And it has mushroom inside. Mm -hmm. Perfect taste. Okay. Thank you. Guys, I guess I'm blessed by Allah to witness all this beauty. These stars are just incredible. I'm witnessing Milky Way. I will put the pictures that I could take and I hope you will like it. <laughs>